take a look at how to uh, add a few more design elements to a blog post. Now this is a this is a sample post that I did. It's an assignment we're going to be doing, and you'll see basically uh, it's got a featured image here. It's got a lot of text. Uh, it gets into some poetry, and then it's got some. Uh, uh, embedded YouTube videos that sort of explain how to do this. So that's essentially one long post. Um, it's kind of like a list. But if we go over to the home page, you'll see that on this page, uh, there's actually like uh, sections. So there's this image, there's this text, then there's sort of three sections here, and then there's this whole thing here that allows us to scroll so this is a section and this is a fourth section and this is built using page builder so uh, I'm going to show you how to use page builder so if we start here with a new uh, post okay uh, and uh, I'm going to take some text here and I'm going to put it in the title like that and you know I've mentioned earlier that this is where you normally would uh, copy and paste text in here and perhaps you would add an image and so forth I've also talked about this is the visual view the text view is where you're actually seeing the HTML code we're going to talk about the page builder view okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete all this out and we're going to click on page builder and it says do you want to switch the page builder and I go okay um, and so let me delete both of these yes okay so this is the way you'll see page builder when you first open it up it's going to ask you whether you want to add widgets or rows it's kind of built on rows so I'm going to add a row like this and it sort of defaults to a, to a 50 50 split if you wanted to have three sections in your row you could have three uh, you can go back to two you can drag this anywhere you want or you could actually pick some various things like that so let's just say that I uh, that I want that so I'm going to insert that and now it's created two sections now I'm going to add a widget so there's rows there's sections of rows and then widgets go inside them so I'm going to click on Add Widget, and this is a whole bunch of widgets. I suggest you keep going back to the Widget Bundle, because this is the short list. 95% of the time you're going to be using Site Origin Editor, which is this thing. So you click on that, and notice that dropped it in here. If I actually wanted it there, I could put it there. Um, once it's there, I could say, no, I want to move this over. So you've got a lot of flexibility. So what this does is this creates a kind of a smaller uh, area to build some web content within the context of a larger page. So if I click Edit, you'll see something that kind of looks familiar. Now, if I want to give this a little bit of a title in there, I can. And then if I want to select some text over here and paste it in like this, I click Done. And now I have to save the draft. And let's see what I've got when I preview it. So now if I preview post, you'll see I've got something that's just kind of a section of the page. Okay. Now if I go back here to um, uh, edit the post, which is right here, I could say, well, over here, I want to actually have an image that sits next to the text. So I highlight this. I click Add Widget. Again, I'm just going to use the Site Origins Editor like that and click Edit. And uh, I'm going to drag uh, some media in there, but in order to do that, I have to do Add Media. And I'm going to drag this image like this. And then I'm going to go Insert into Post. And it just inserted it. And then I click Done. And now if I save the draft and preview it, you'll see that I now have this sitting next to that. Okay. So if I want to go back in and edit the post some more, let's say I want to add another row. 
um, I click add row and in this case I only want one uh, section I go add widget to that and again I'm going to go to my site origin editor and uh, I click on edit right here now for this I actually want to put a um, a YouTube video so over here I've got a YouTube video opened up if I click on the share button here I get an embed code I'm going to copy that to my clipboard I'm going to come back over here to edit the post now remember this uh, is actually an HTML code so I want to go to the text thing here and pop that in and then if I go back to visual I now have that and if I click done and save draft and preview post you'll see that uh, ooh, I guess I wasn't done previewing uh, saving let's try that save draft Oh, um, and preview post. There it is. Okay. So you'll see I've, you know, I've been able to create a few more sections. Now if I go back here to edit it again, I could add another row. Uh, let's add a 50-50. Uh, it put it here and I thought, well, you know, I really want it here. So I'm going to grab this box here and drag it down. Uh, and let's say for the sake of argument I actually want to edit the row here and I only want one column there I add my widget go back to this thing go to site origin click here to edit it and now I'm going to add a lot of text here like this paste it in go done save draft this time we'll give it a chance to uh, save it and we'll preview it and you'll see now I have something that's a little bit more elaborate again it might be something that's useful to you it might not it also works when you're working on pages if we go back in here uh, you can actually a couple more things you could do you could say gee you know I really want this um, YouTube video to be the first thing so I could just drag that up here and put that on top I can say you know I really want this a little more like that uh, and again I can save the draft and I can preview it and now it looks like this and there's actually a feature here where you can go live editor and you can see what you're building on the right side and what you've got on the left so for example if I take this uh, thing and move it over a little bit like that it actually shows me what happens the other thing that's kind of fun here is it'll show me what this will look like on a uh, on a smartphone it'll show you what it'll look like on a tablet and so forth and when I click done I'm done with this and so forth um, so this is uh, a little bit uh, I'm building slightly more design oriented uh, posts or web pages